Most comedians wouldn't be jailed for telling a joke. But that's the risk Kambi's Hosseini would face if he were telling his jokes in Iran. Instead, he is one of the most famous and controversial Iranians in exile. Clips from his Farsi language satirical show often get hundreds of thousands of hits on Facebook. Many more Iranian viewers watch the program on illegal satellite TV on a channel funded by the U.S. government. The U.S. and Iran don't have problems in Washington now, do they? Iran's foreign minister and secretary of state John Kerry takes selfies left and right. They go out for a kebab. People like Ayatollah Khamenei, they have problem with uh, getting criticized. You know, they, they don't like criticism, and especially in humor. It's the type of humor Hosseini couldn't perform in Iran. His work there had to be pro-regime. He came to the U.S. 15 years ago and now runs his program from this warehouse in Brooklyn, New York. His show Politique is an alternative to the usual fare on Iran's official TV. While it airs state-sponsored prayers, Hosseini accuses Iranian officials of exploiting religion. You're the prophet. His witty style has inspired comparisons with Jon Stewart. In fact, Stewart has had Hosseini on The Daily Show. So you calling me a prophet will in no way get me in trouble, will it? Um... We joined Hosseini and his team of expat Iranians on their weekly Skype call. While these guys are putting together the script, down the hallway in another room, there is another team that is preparing graphics and video in the same way that most newscasts are put together here in the U.S. Except in this room, there is one big difference. These Iranian Americans told us they're afraid to show their faces on camera. I asked this writer why. Our families still live in Iran, and unfortunately the security forces put a lot of pressure on the families of people who are working abroad in the media, and we want to prevent that. Hosseini says Iranian authorities pressured his brother and sister to get him to stop ridiculing the supreme leader. He didn't, so his siblings fled to the U.S. My, my family has been harassed many times, which is, which is yeah, of course, that's, that's a price that I paid, too. It's a big price for big laughs. Three, two, one, action. But Iranian-American activists say Hosseini's humor is filling a void in Iran. Because this kind of political humor cannot be produced inside the country and yet speaks to the hearts and minds of people, uh, what can be done is very much welcome inside Iran. Conservative Iranian websites churn out scathing articles about Hosseini. Some are personal attacks. This report claims he has improper relations with women. It's all lie, propaganda, uh, and bunch of nonsense. It's also a reason Hosseini can't go home, at least for now. Until he can, he hopes to make an impact there from here, one joke at a time. I really hope to make Iran a better place to live um, for everybody. And if it can be through the satire, let it be, you know. <laughs>